estamos indo tomar café da manhã no tênis. Adoro tênis. Aí depois a gente vai lá por aqui. É engraçado que muito brasileiro quando chega nos Estados Unidos acha o máximo, né? Ai, eu posso abastecer meu carro. Tu paga na bomba ali, papai. É muito chato. É muito chato. É muito, é, pode ser legal às vezes na primeira vez, assim, mas depois, não, não. <risos> muito mais prático. Parar, vem alguém, fala completa, dá o cartão de crédito, eles passam na bomba ali, deu. Em Oregon e mais um outro estado, eu acho que é New Jersey, que, que, que tem frentista, que é proibido você mesmo abastecer. Like a waterfall in my head lugares favoritos para tomar café da manhã o que eu adoro aqui é que tudo tem foto então é muito fácil escolher e outra coisa legal é que tudo parece com a foto então não é enganação né quando chega o prato não tem nada a ver com o que tu viu na foto não é bem parecido e o preço aqui é ótimo também é super acessível Eu adoro essa panqueca que eles fazem aqui com... Tem tipo um creme, aí tem banana, aí tem amendoim crocante e um caramelo. É muito, 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 muito bom. Aí como eu tava mais pra doce hoje, eu pedi só um pouquinho aqui, que é scramble eggs com, com queijo. E aí vem um bacon aqui, uma salsichinha pequena... É isso. Pronto, terminamos o café da manhã Que de Denis A conta deu um, 35 dólares É, a gente teve um desconto Que a gente tem um cartão Numa associação chamada AARP Que é porque o Patrick tem mais de 50 anos <risos> Daí ganha 15% de desconto Nesse restaurante Agora vamos lá pro teatro, onde vai ser o memorial da amiga do Patrick. We literally had... O Patrick acha que ele morou aqui, ele não lembra direito. Aí eu falei pra ele, como é que tu não lembra um lugar que tu morou? Mesmo que foi quando tu tinha 18 anos. Eu lembro tudo quando eu tinha 18 anos. Right? <risos> ele não lembra, you don't remember. I said I remember everything, even when I was 15. I can go there, even if it changed a little bit, I can go there and say, I remember this place. <laughs> it was it was nice to see where you lived when you were 18, 19. Yeah. Um, probably. <laughs> this was, we were... Maybe we, we had, should ask uh, Patrick. <laughs> we had, Maybe you were a You listen to me! Ah, God! <laughs> you were an alien. We had all hand-me-down I want furniture. Patrick back! What are you talking about? Um, um, like a, the table between our two chairs and the living room was a cardboard box. Oh. Um, I remember the, at least the first, it was, we, I don't know how long, we weren't there for very long. Really so. low budget. Oh yeah. <laughs> our Christmas tree was like a little twig. We purposely made it look like as poor as possible. <laughs> so we set it up on top of the cardboard box between the two hideous chairs. Why? Any reason in particular? <laughs> Just to be ironic and ridiculous. Okay. And so we had this twig of a tree with a, like three or four ornaments on it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was laughable. We had mm. fun. Patrick's I life. Walked through my young life. Yeah. Like Memorial in, in, his in life. Pathetic young life. <laughs> <laughs> More to come. <laughs> yeah.
for sure. More to see, things that he might remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's a driving portal? into Disney World. Yeah. And see this, they built all of this right up to the doorway of the theater. It's pretty... Oh, this is like a mall. Yeah. It is a mall. It is a mall. Let's see if I can remember where the theater is. It's back here someplace. See, this. There, none of this was here originally. Mm. And so it grew up around the theater. This is the, yeah, this is what they wanted to move the theater for. And that's the theater right there, that little crummy building. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. Right there. It doesn't look like a theater. I was expecting something like um, the Venetian. Oh, God, no. This is a little nonprofit theater. With heart and humor. <laughs> yeah. Right, there's people over there. People that you might know. Oh, yeah. It's, if you remember. It's been so long since I've been here. Yeah. Maybe all people. They will say like, oh, look, Patrick, that guy who disappeared. I may not recognize him. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. No rush. Okay. okay. It's all good. Very important. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you. Wonderful. Good. If you have any. Eighty first season. They're here for eighty one years. A baby blue bikini. I mean, a one. I remember I got started here when I was like eighteen. And now you are seventy. For a long time. Uh, now you are 53. Two. Almost three. Two. I'm still two. <laughs> Next month. Bonitinho <laughs> teatro. This is a pretty amazing production too. The space is actually, it's got a great feel to it for sure. And that was she. That was Lynn on the left. And that was her husband. He died a few years ago after a long fight with cancer. So she was about 50 years old when you were doing theater here. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, she was 84 years old. She was actually in the cast of the first show I ever directed. Which was right. Well, that's so bad, Rikikyu. How old were you here? Oh, I was probably 19. 19. <laughs> 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 Bom, memorial acabou de. Acabar, né? Foi parecido com aquele. Foi parecido com aquele da. Que a gente fez pra mãe do Pet, que todo mundo falou e tal. Eu só não filmei, né? Porque. Assim, não tô em casa, assim como eu tava naquele. Então, não queria filmar as pessoas. Aí agora a gente tá aproveitando pra comprar duas cadeiras. Duas. Duas cadeiras aqui no teatro. É como se fosse uma doação. É uma doação, na verdade, e as cadeiras a gente vai ter o nosso nome numa plaquinha na cadeira. Bem interessante. Aqui custa... Uma cadeira custa 400 dólares, duas custa 700. Então essa é a doação que a gente vai fazer, 700. Vai ser a cadeira A6 e A7, ó, com o nosso nome. Vamos ver, A6 e A7. Ah, bem na frente. Legal. Agora tem um monte de comida ali para comer. Tem um buffet. Essa é a casa 
que o Patrick morou com a mãe dele quando a mãe dele se separou do pai dele. Ele tinha uns. I guess like 17 or 18. 17. Ele tinha 17 anos mais ou menos quando eles mudaram pra cá. Mas daí alguns anos depois ele já saiu de casa e foi morar sozinho com amigos. It was a nice house. Still a yeah. nice house today. It used to have trees. It had more trees all around it. But, um... É, então, a, pra a gente que no Brasil fica achando que casa não, não dura, né, e tal, nos Estados Unidos, porque é de madeira, essa casa tem no mínimo 50 anos. Porque quando ele mudou aqui, ele tinha... O Patrick tem 53 agora. Então, vamos dizer, essa casa tinha... Já, já era usada, né, ela não era nova quando eles moraram aqui. Então, essa casa tem no mínimo 50 anos. E olha, uma casa bonita, bem cuidada. Yeah, yeah. this was the house when we had that really, really bad winter storm. Mm. I think we had Sharon three different stores. Uh, essa aqui era a loja de pneus borracharia do pai do Patrick. Yeah. O Patrick trabalhou aqui quando ele era criança, adolescente. When you were a teenager, you worked here. Yeah. Every summer. Yep. Mm -hmm. And for at least a o pai dele era tipo, years. ele tinha um sócio, ele era, ele era meio 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 nessa loja. Aí o Patrick trabalhava ali. Que bonitinho. Que <laughs> cute. Working in a tire store. Who yeah. would tell? <laughs> I wash cars, I spin balance tires, I clean. Wow. Yeah, I was basically my dad's slave. <laughs> This is the second Firestone store that he managed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so he came here and then they ended up buying that store. And that's where we used to take the cat and dog, the vet. Oh. It was our vet. Like a waterfall in my head. University of Puget Sound. Que campus lindo! Uh -huh. O Patrick estudou aqui. Fez teatro. Over here is the student. Wow, um, look this at this. this. Student Union building over here. It looks like Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> this is the main administration building in the center there. Uh -huh. Can you imagine this in a beautiful day? Yeah. Well, you can. <laughs> yeah, this was where my statistics class was and my economics class. Had a huge lecture hall, like 600 people. It, even the letters that they, that the font they used mm -hmm. to write, it looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> wow. What does that sign say? Albers Witten Quandrangle. <laughs> The V is a U, basically. Quadrangle. What so is the study union? The student union is where, like, the bookstore is, and there's a cafeteria, and, you know, all the stuff for the students need, basically. Between classes, or for their classes, or to eat, hmm. etc. The students live or on I campus, know. so... There's student housing and so forth. Though not a lot in DAUPS, there's not a lot of like dormitories. It's mostly the fraternities. The fraternities. We always hear about fraternities in the movies. It's gonna yeah. be fun to drive in front of those buildings. Twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars a year. Uh -huh. That's why you have 
student loan loans yeah. for your entire life yeah. to pay for it. But that was back in 1980s. Yeah, how Nowadays, much is now? It's probably a hundred grand a year a to year. attend here. Because this is a private university, it's not yeah. supported by the state. But it's so perfect, so manicured. Yeah, it's really <laughs> beautiful. Out here, this it's a arboretum. They actually play frisbee golf with mm -hmm. the trees. Oh, there's a lot of nice houses around here in the neighborhood. Yeah. What what the frater fraternities do? <laughs> They're basically like a. Yeah. Uh, see, this building wasn't here when I was here, and that's where the fountain used to be. Right. Let me see the fraternities. Yeah. Oh, and they have the name on the front of it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. No. Oh. Okay. Something X. <laughs> yeah, the letters are Greek. A Greek. So like O is Omega. Canina's uh, film is like in the movies. Oh, the fraternity. Yeah. <laughs> so there's fraternities are for boys, sororities are for girls. Oh yeah, and they're all assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's you true. To, you have to pledge a fraternity. So when you come into the university, if you want to be in a fraternity or sorority, you have to pledge. What is play? It's part of the process. So that's where you declare that you want to join a fraternity, for example. Why? Let Why you want to join? Oh, I'm right. Okay. Finishing. Okay. Sorry. So <laughs> once you declare and you pledge a fraternity, one, the fraternity has to accept you. So they have to, oftentimes it's a kind of a good old boys situation where the, uh, you know, like if your parent was a member of that fraternity, then you've kind of got an in for the son, uh -huh. stuff like that. So it's kind of, you know, privileged and uh. elitist. You, um, you go through, like, what do they call it, pledge week or something, at the beginning of the year, and that's where they do a lot of what they call hazing, where they make the newbies do horrible things, like run through campus naked or oh yeah you know, get painted up like a woman and have to go to a bar or we had crazy. that in Brazil it's so ridiculous <laughs> campo de futebol americano é que tem outro mano nossa mas tá lindo esse campo hein perfeito Barnet the... Hall I've attended several colleges over the years that's where I did my first play on stage. Oh, that's that's it's a the high school building. A high school que o Patrick yeah. frequentou. Now I just see a big tree. Okay, now yeah, the auditorium. A, yeah, it's a it's an it aggressive theater. Yeah, it doesn't look like a high school American. Well, this school. building is new. That wasn't there when I went there. Uh -huh. I thought the auditorium was. It doesn't have that kind of traditional architecture. It'll look more like it over here. Oh yeah. Oh my god, they took down the original building. It's oh. gone. Huh? It was all here. <laughs> oh yeah. They make a These big are all new. Parking lot and they follow the same design yeah, architecture. Yeah. Yeah, this is all new. I didn't I didn't do any of this. <laughs> huh. I lost the personality now. <laughs> here my driver's training class was out mm. here. It's funny how the high schools and everything, they have a lot of sport courts around, always. Yeah. That's something you don't see that much in Brazil. I don't know how we're so good in sports with the infrastructure we have. Your yeah, in Brazil. Brazil, yeah, because here kids are exposed a lot since kids yeah. <laughs> to sport. Like, there's my, a lot of infrastructure. My friend Lauren lived, I think, down that street, like mm -hmm. half a block. Mm -hmm. And that's where, um, like, when Mike, Michael Jackson's Thriller came out, mm -hmm. we all cut school and went to watch it at noon because it was aired at noon on MTV the first day. And so everybody, like, the school cleared out. Everybody's like, fuck this, I'm going to watch Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> this is the gymnasium. Gymnasium, <laughs> which I think is that's also.
also in a different place. It's been mm-hmm. the gym was and there's a pool. The auditorium. There's a pool. I'm assuming so. There was before. Yeah. Yeah. You see. It's awesome. Like a waterfall.